Welcome to Mustard Seed Project. This is Arael, the servant of the living God. In the last video, we spoke about the relationship with, between man and God. And we found out that uh, prayers is the mean of how man has access to speak to God. Or let me say how as the way the children of God has uh, is uh, the mean of the children of God to speak to their father. And uh, if you're a uh, um, sportler, somebody who does sports, or go to fitness studio, or you are a dancer, you'll definitely know that you always start with basics, you change choreography, but you always come back to the basics, so that always to, uh, so that you can always be in the position of going to the next level. And if we go back to our teaching. Let us start again with the basic. The very initial time of the first video we learned that uh, it is written that the children of God are going astray because of lack of knowledge. And uh, if I start from there, I've come to realize that we even lack to know how to pray. And pray is the access to our Father. Even in the time of apostles and the son of the living God, the apostles asked uh, the son of God, please, Lord, teach us how to pray. After they spent several time with him, seeing all the miracles, all the prophecies, signs and wonders, they did not tell him, Lord, please teach us how to prophesy, or Lord, teach us how to do miracles or how they teach us how to do signs and wonders. But they focus on prayer. The question is why? If you study your scripture very well, you find out many times the scripture said that the Lord used to spend his time praying. You will read that he spent sometimes all night long praying. And even if you read uh, in the book of Luke 6, 12, it says, we can just go straight ahead there. Luke 6, Luke chapter 6, verse 12. It says, One of those days Jesus went out to a mountain to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them who, who, whom he also designated to be apostles. So he spent all night long speaking to God until he got a revelation about whom are the 12 men who are going to accompany him to the ministry that God has placed in his hand. So we see the apostles come to realize that the greatness of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the fruit, what came out of him, it was through prayer. He spent so much time praying and every time he came out there was miracle signs and wonders. And that is the reason why I took my time to study about prayers and to look around how we pray, how I pray, how my brothers pray, how we pray in the church. And I come to realize that we also lack knowledge in that area. And that is why I decided to take my time and allow the Holy Spirit to teach us about prayer and because it is an it is very essential for us to know how to pray so that we will not be ignorant in this area because like we I have said it is the way to the Father and when we are praying we are in the presence of God if I can put it in a practical form you know when you need something from your parent, especially your father. You will go to him and you will speak to him. That means your father is present while you are asking him what you need from him. So it is with God. In the moment that we are praying, we are in the presence of God. And when we pray well, according to how it's supposed to be, then it, it, uh, we have to see the fruits of our prayer. Because the Lord Jesus Christ promised us that wherever we ask in prayer, in his name, it shall be granted to us. My question to you, do you see the fruit of your prayer? Is, do you get answers to your prayer? If yes, then you are doing it right. If not, then you have to take time and listen to me from today on according to how the Lord is going to lead us 
maybe we can start with the foundation maybe we will go deeper it depends on how the lord is going to lead us so <coughs> sorry uh, i'm sorry uh, i'm going to take time and today I will avoid so much uh, reading the scripture because uh, I believe that after we spoke so much about studying the Word of God, how important the Word of God is, I ignore that you have put it into practice and you take time and read. That is why I'm, not, I'm really going to try to avoid reading so that you will take time and read your Bible. I will just try to speak and to mention part of the scriptures but I will really definitely try to avoid reading the scripture so that we will come out of this religions uh, uh, the religion things that we've been used to a uh, servant of God stand there read the scripture you write it down go home and even forget what he, he spoke about so i'm trying to help you or i'm trying to help us to get to the next level to go deeper into the things of god and if you don't read your scripture it will be difficult for you in the future to understand uh, what i'll be talking about like i said i will really definitely going to stop reading the scripture <clears throat> So, um, like I said, uh, I will try today uh, maybe to read one to scripture, but not much. Let us read the book of Ephesians 6. You really have to excuse me today. Um, my voice is not so good. I'm having cough. So I'm really sorry about that. But that is not a reason to stop the work of God. So we'll read Ephesians 6, 18. And it is written, Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kind of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. My point here is, Apostle Paul says, Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer. So first thing I come to realize that, that is there is different kind of prayers. There is um, the first prayer must be the prayer of repentance that leads salvation. That is one kind of prayer. There is pray, daily prayer. There is a, a prayer of asking, request when we are in need. There is prayer of intercession, pray for other people. There's a really different kind of prayer. But most of the time, we always have this kind of daily prayer. Like me, I used to only know, I, uh, my, most of the time I used just to pray for my food. <laughs> like God bless my food before I take it in Jesus name. And that was all my life that is what I, I used to pray until 2014 that is when i asked god to give me a spirit of prayer and that is when my prayer life really changes <clears throat> but now me and you we are really learning because it's just something that i discover after the topic of last week uh, sorry i the video i posted last time it is when I come to realize, okay, if prayer is the connection between man and God, are we doing it right? And that is when I took my time and start to study. So I, I am studying while I am speaking to you. So both of us, we are learning concerning this uh, issue of prayer. So I've come to realize this. There is a petition of prayer that is asking for permission in a higher authority meaning the creator the living father there's intercession prayer when we pray we pray in a behalf of someone and even the scripture says that uh, 
we do not know how we ought to pray for but the holy spirit himself will intercede for us and pray the will of god for us so we see that even the holy spirit intercede for us through us most of the time when we pray in uh, we pray in spirit that is when the holy spirit is interceding for us because the scripture says that when we pray in spirit or when we speak in spirit it is when we are speaking to god and no one understand us except uh, uh, we are uttering mystery in the spirit so and then there is a part that is written that the lord jesus christ himself is sitting at the right hand of the majesty of the living god interceding for us so you see intercession is a different kind of prayer and i believe it is very necessary for us to know how we pray just like the apostle asked the lord jesus christ how should we pray so it is really important for us to know how we pray and then the lord also t uh, told peter that pray and watch that means when you pray then you have to watch and see the outcome of your prayer and even there's a part where the lord says i believe in the luke 18 take your time and read he was talking about a widow who was um uh, trying to uh, get justice and he said just like that woman who keep on going back to this judge and keep on demanding for uh, for justice he said so should we also be that we have to always pray until we get what we need from the father because god also want to see your genuine willingness and there's a part also in the scripture where apostle james if i'm not wrong said that when we pray we don't receive why because of the attitude of our heart so there's so many things that we have to watch out when we are praying and even forgiveness he said before you go start praying you have to forgive those who have sinned against you so that is why i if you see the only short um, um i mean those small things that i've mentioned now you, you realize by yourself that there is so many things we have to watch out <clears throat> before we pray first of all you have to know the topic what do you want from god do you want to thank him that means that is a thanksgiving prayer. Is it you are asking God for your daily bread? That's a kind of different prayer. Are you praying for somebody? That is intercession. And then you have to focus on, on intercession. Because the scriptures say that um, there is time and season of everything. So even in prayer you have to know which prayer are you offering when. So there is also... Um, a prayer of deliverance you cannot mix the when you're praying start by thanksgiving and the same times you landed starting uh, praying for deliverance you see we have always really to study the scripture and to pray and ask god to give us knowledge in so many things in life especially in our spiritual life we are really babies so let us try to get out of there. Let us grow and get out of childhood and become mature so that we can eat solid food. Because time is running. The scriptures say that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Yes, many people say, can think, okay, since generation, we've been hearing that Jesus is coming soon. And today here we are, he's not yet there. That is very true many things has to happen before he comes but the point is he said no one knows the day or the hour and that is the point do you know your day and your hour when your spirit will be taken out of your body no you don't know and that is the reason why we have to grow in the spirit so that we will reap the fruit of our works <clears throat> so uh, if I continue there's also prayer of protection we have, can also have a prayer of supplication 
there's so many different kind of prayer you can pray in tongues that is also another uh, different ways okay that a different kind of prayer and um, and the scripture says also that we can we must also pray in the city where we are living so that we will have peace do we do that I don't think so and if yes very few of us do so and many people who pray for their city is most of the time when the trouble occurs and that is when we start taking our time and praying for our cities the scripture also say apostle paul also advises us that we have to pray for the kings governments and presidents who are ruling us who god have put there to rule over us we have to pray for them so that we can live in peace do we do that i don't think so and most of the time when we do so it is when a problem occur most of the time when the uh, there's a presidential vote that is when you'll see many people pray for the nation or pray for the candidates that uh, they would like them to win but during our normal daily life do you take time and pray for the kings for the governors for presidents ministers and those who rule over us because the scripture said the prayer of a righteous man is very powerful and very effective so you as a child of god god hear your prayer much more than i mean your prayer is very very needed if you remember uh, there's a place written in the scripture that um, the servant of God Elijah prayed that it to stop raining for almost three years in Israel and truly truly the rain stopped and there was drought and hunger and people were dying and even the angel they tried to intercede uh, for the people they were crying to God and say now you have to send the rain but the Lord said wait until my servant Elijah pray then I will send the rain so you can see how important it is for us as children of God as servants of God to pray pray for your nation pray for the city you're living in study the scripture to know how to pray and ask God to teach you how to pray and pray for me too that God will give me grace to continue on this mission of taking the children of God from the low part of the glory to the next level going higher and higher we will go thank you for today and I pray and hope uh, that God will give us grace really to continue in our uh, in our project and I just have to uh, remind you the things that uh, <coughs> <coughs> the things that we have uh, spoken in the last days. Like I said, uh, somebody who is a dancer or uh, uh, somebody who do uh, visit fitness studio, do some courses, knows that. Um, you always have to go back uh, to the to the basics the things that we have listened we have read and talk about um, I hope that uh, we we'll really keep uh, reminding ourselves keep on meditating in the Word of God and uh, keep on reading and uh, forgiving so that uh, we can really go to the next level one thing I have to mention is that um, most of the time preachers, teachers, uh, believers uh, will gather together and um, decided to pray. But I come to realize that we've been doing it wrong. So it is a time for us to wake up and try to do it right. For example, uh, in the book of Mark 16, 17, the Lord Jesus Christ said that uh, this will be the sign that accompany those who believe. And he said, in my name, they will cast out demons. <coughs> Most of the time, we pray to people who are demon possessed. But I believe it's not supposed to be so. 
we have to take authority and cast the demons evil spirit out of the life of believers or children of God or whatever person God has sent us to or them to us to cast the demons out of them but I don't think we need to pray for them we ha even he himself we never read in the Bible that Jesus Christ pray for people who are demon possessed but he cast the spirit the evil spirit the wicked spirit out of them and I was really shocked when I come to realization that man we have really been out of track <laughs> so my uh, point today or question for you is um, do you get is there any fruit of your prayer when you pray, do you get answer to God? Another question is, how often do you pray? And another question is, do you know that there's different kind of prayers? If yes, I would like to, uh, for us to uh, share our experience. You can just uh, write your comment and uh, we, can, oh, we can grow together by discussing this my, my issue of prayer so that's all for today i thank you very much remember you have to forgive remember you have to study your scripture remember the different kinds of prayer and remember that it is up to me and you to do the best of ourselves so that we can come to the next level god bless you for today may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with us today and see you next time